Hey, what's up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to my glorious Bannerman. So I've actually had to go home this weekend, so I'm not by my YouTube computer. So I've gone ahead and pre-recorded this episode because I needed to go ahead and get a quick kind of small little mod video in there. So it goes ahead and just allows me to get you guys a video every single day. So basically the mod we're going to go ahead and look at today is a uh, reskin for the Dwarven Empire, which goes ahead and pretty much just encases every Dwarven unit into Ironbreaker armor, which is just really, really cool you know like i i'm not going to use this when i play properly because i was like i i like having you know lightly armored dwarfs all the way up to iron breakers it makes the feeling when you have iron breakers that bit more special uh because you know they're so heavily armored they just look crazy but it's nice now and again just to go ahead and get you know just everyone in this you know if you're trying to have a cool looking custom battle or something you know the dwarfs this is the royal army you know this is forgrim's army He's gone ahead and gone ahead and just encased every single unit in super heavy armor because, you know, because he can. So I've gone ahead and put this mod in the description. You guys can go ahead and check it out. I'm not actually sure if the Longbeards have actually changed at all. If it's just Dwarven Warriors and, like, Quarrows and stuff. The Longbeards look pretty pretty normal. But I know that the, uh, the Dwarven Warriors have definitely, definitely changed. You can go ahead and see them. They're, yeah, they're 100% in Ironbreaker armor. Which I think it just looks really, really nice. Also, the organ guns, which I've got I've got one over here. So we're basically just going to go ahead and look at this. I'll speed up the camera a little bit as well. We're just going to look at this mod, and then we're just going to throw these guys into battle against a pretty big green skin army. And we're just going to see how it how it runs out. So yeah, even the organ guns, the artillery crew, are uh, encased in heavy, heavy armor. Um, also, I guess the... The uh, Quarrelers as well are, which you guys have already seen, these guys are the, the great weapon ones. The Longbeards, again, are not. They're just in normal armor by the looks of it. I don't know, actually. I can't even remember what Longbeards look like, but I'm pretty sure they're just in normal armor. So, yeah, by the looks of it, this mod just goes ahead and adds in... Uh, just goes ahead and adds in... A bunch of armor for like the lowly armored dwarven units like the dwarven warriors i don't think it does it for the miners either but it's still nice having my missiles and my artillery and my dwarven warriors just looking like iron breakers it just makes the army look really really intimidating so let's go ahead and just advance my my uh my assault line up we're just going to pretty much just run into this enemy army hopefully this organ gun as well is in a good position to go ahead and open up on people i think it is so we'll just go ahead and move up a little bit more and we'll get some nice shots of the dwarfs just marching a dwarf does not run to battle. We uh, we march to battle. So yeah, hopefully we'll get some nice shots of this. I mean, the armor does just look really, really nice. Looking back on this, I actually thought that they changed the Longbeard's uniforms, but they didn't, so I actually wish I would have got more Longbeard. I mean, more Dwarven Warriors. Like, they're probably going to get slaughtered because of this, because I gave them a pretty big army. Um, but by the looks of it as well, they're actually going... Oh, my organ guns are opening up on this, dwar on this Orc unit. They are going to get wrecked charging this down. Look at them. Like, as long as we get good hits, they are going to get slaughtered. I'll have a look at it. Oh, my God. They just came out of nowhere. Okay, let's go ahead and tell my dwarfs to reform the line. We'll go ahead and form up, and then we'll just watch these charges unfold. So let's go ahead and, yeah, just get a nice little line there. They can actually run into this battle. These guys there. These guys there these guys there and then all my missiles just form up damn they kind of got in my way pretty uh pretty effectively and i gave them a bunch of black orcs and stuff so it should just be really really interesting okay cool i'm also going to pop that sorry this is supposed to be a, a a mod look and i'm just kind of doing all these tactics and stuff we don't care about tactics we want to see something cool so the giant's going to go ahead and come in as my long beards try and reform it <laughs> it's going to smash him the Black Orcs as well are hitting away at my long beards. Where are my Dwarven Warriors? That's what we want to see. These are the guys. These are, this is a reason we're watching the mod. So they pretty much just look like Iron Breakers, which is cool. You know, it's always fun having like a super, super like elite looking unit just in your basic units. So yeah, so they basically are just Iron Breakers, but just for every unit. And it's kind of cool as well, because I kind of like this feel, you know. If I could go ahead and get this on, like, a specific army in the campaign, that'd be really cool. Because, like, could you imagine having uh, just, like, your, like, legendary Lord army, which looks like this with all these skins, but all the other armies don't look like this? Because that'd be really cool. It'd kind of be like an Imperial army, you know. Just like the, when the, when Thorgrim marches to battle, he brings the most elite units with him. Like, he cases them in royal armor. And it's kind of nice, you know, these Dwarven Warriors are kind of like an Iron Breaker unit, but without a satchel charge. Which is kind of cool, I think, anyway. 
So the giant has got on by the looks of it onto my uh, Coralie unit and just, just routed them with Grimgore as well. And now he's just going to go and run and just trample, trample my, my Coralies with great weapons here. Like these guys, these trolls, I mean these giants, sorry, are just going to kill everyone. I think I also went ahead and gave him a unit of trolls as well, which are going to smash into the back of my long beards right now. It's not going to look good for them. But hey, we don't care about the long beards. It's all about the... It's all about the uh, Dwarven Warriors. They actually managed to go ahead and take down a unit of... Giants, which is good. Go on, Dwarves. You can win the day. And this armor just looks so cool. Like, I remember the first time I saw the Iron Breakers, and I was just like, yes. That's just awesome. Like, just everything about them, just head to toe. I, I like to think they're like the Marines from StarCraft. And they've just gone ahead and just, you know, this is what they are now. They're just armor, basically. They can never get out of their their armor. They're just always, they sleep in this armor. They eat in this armor. And it basically just becomes a part of them. That's what I like to think. Because Iron Breakers are so cool. They're the, like the most elite units who go ahead and defend the Underways. And I, it's just so, so awesome. So one giant's down. I think the trolls are also being dealt with, which is nice. The organ gun as well is just ripping through these orcs right here. You can see it right now. Shout out on these guys. I might even just get them off the organ guns and charge them in. Here we go. We're going to shoot again. A nice little volley of like five shots of the small cannonballs. And the thing I love about the organ guns as well, like the, the detail, is you'll see the uh, the bullets of the organ gun, or I guess the small cannonballs, just laying on the floor as well in the battle. I'm not sure if I can see any now. But it's, it's really cool just to go ahead and see like the aftermath of the, of the shells kind of finding their mark. So by the looks of it, the dwarfs are getting smashed back over here. This unit of dwarven warriors encased in armor are trying to hold the line as best as possible. Actually managed to win on this right flank, which is good. We can go ahead and reinforce over here, which we'll go ahead and do. But this unit looks very, very broken right now. I should go ahead and reinforce here as well to go ahead and help out the front line. So we'll get these guys over here to go ahead and charge into the wrath of ruin in the world's end. These guys go charge in there. It's not looking too good for us. Oh yeah, also, I totally forgot. We actually go ahead and have a unit of miners, which actually have satchel charges. So let's go ahead and blow this thing up. We're going to kill so many more of our own men, but it'll look cool. Forever giant, burn him. Kill the giant. I think we're actually going to rout him. Look, he's on fire as well. That's so cool. Look at him. He's just burning. That looks so awesome. It's like a flaming cape on as he sends my men flying. The miners will go in. What happened to Forgrim as well? Oh, God. These Dwarven Warriors are oh no, just sort of the trolls just vomiting on them. Just smashing him from their side. Yeah, this battle does not look like it's going to go in my favour. We'll go and get one last charge with the remaining men. Oh, there's Forgrim. I guess he may be routed. I hope he didn't round. So did mine. Maybe they chased a unit or something. Or they... No, he actually routed. What a coward. And this is the last remnants of my Dwarven force right now. About to get chopped down by the enemy forces. So yeah, this is pretty much just the mod. I wanted to go ahead and just get a quick video out there because I know I'm not going to be here to make a video and I didn't have a video for Friday. And I think now I've done this video, I have a video for every single day until I'm back. So you guys should hopefully get videos every single day from, uh, from I guess, today all the way through till Monday when I'm back. So that's good. So yeah, hopefully you guys just enjoyed this small little video. Um, it's kind of, again, just a show off for mod. Uh, you guys can go ahead and find this mod in the description. I wouldn't recommend using it always because, I mean, I personally don't like having just all my men encased in armor. Like, I much prefer having, like, the level system. So, you know, I have the weaker troops and they kind of level up to the, the more elite Iron Breakers. You know, when you have the Iron Breakers, you're like, damn, yes, these guys are amazing. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, as I said, and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, fish out.